let's get to the benchmarks. This is interesting. Now, okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Let me stop sharing. Okay, let me share another screen. Boom. Check this out. Okay, now, this is what the Pixel 8 Pro scored. Now, a few things here. I'm not going to spend too much time because they're numbers and you can decide for yourself. However, my first thoughts. Okay, so if you know how the Tensor chip is built, Google is not moving to TSMC until Pixel 10. So they have uh, Pixel 8 here is going to have the G3 Tensor. Yeah, the Pixel 8 is going to have the G3 Tensor. The Pixel 9 is going to have the G4 Tensor. The Pixel 10 is when they're moving to TSMC for their uh, CPU manufacturing. And if you're not familiar with TSMC, they manufacture the uh, best performing, most popular c CPUs in the world. Well, in particular, uh, they Apple uses TSMC for all their uh, bionic chips and uh, uh, the brand new A17 that's overheating. And, um, but that's not really their fault. Um, TSMC's fault. It's Apple's fault. And they also construct the Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, which has performed really, really good lately. And they look to hit a home run with this next Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. However, Samsung, excuse me, Google with this Tensor chip is manufacturing, has, has a deal with Samsung up until this next series, the Pixel 9. After the Pixel 9, the Samsung Tensor deal is over and they're moving their Tensor chip to TSMC. Now, the Tensor, this Tensor uh, uh, chip going all the way from one and then up to four, like I said, will be with Samsung. And what it is, is basically an Exynos processor or it's an Exynos build or, and or manufacturer. Samsung is manufacturing the Tensor chip and it's a Exynos processor in the foundation, basically, best way to describe it. And then Google designs and adds and tweaks and has control over everything else. Basically, it's like building a house, right? So Samsung would own the foundation or the design of the foundation. And then Google would build the house on top of it. Um, and it has a lot to play with performance and heat dissipation when it comes to TSMC because they do make a superior chip. However, here are the new scores with the Pixel 8 Pro. As you can tell, Pixel 8 Pro, Android 14, uh, codename, uh, uh, what is it, Husky. So they scored on a single, is this Geekbench 6? And I'll, I'll benchmark ours when we get ours in. Pixel 8 Pro here, Geekbench, scored a single core, 1760 points. Now, that's not the best I've ever seen uh, or the highest score I've ever seen, but it's very respectable. Um, and they've also scored a just over 4,400 in the multi-core score. Again, very good for Pixel. Uh, uh, not the very best I've ever seen, but... I did benchmark my Samsung S23 Ultra a few months ago, and I remember getting right around here, or just the low 4,000s. So it is a, it's basically along the lines of, even though that the, the um, a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is coming out, which is going to blow away uh, the previous gen, it looks like these scores, the new Tensor G3 chip that's coming out next uh, this week, is basically right along the lines of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is currently out. So, looks like pretty good scores. Now, if you remember what Google said last year, they basically made a statement saying, look, we're not out to get the highest performing device. We're not out to have that number one spot. What they are concerned with is with AI and machine learning on your phone. And I agree with them. A lot of these benchmark res results are not real world, real world um, accumulative or real world. Give me a second. Sorry. Not a lot of these scores are not. You can't really translate it to the real world unless you're playing super in graphic intensive games. If you're a gamer, I would you know pay more attention to this um, than the average person like me. I don't play games on my phone. However, yeah, I do like to 
you know, peek at them just to see what they their potential could be. However, Google did not wow us last year with the Pixel 7 Pro uh, benchmark scores. However, <clears throat> if you go back into our video library when uh, maybe about six months ago when I'm when or eight months ago when the Pixel 7 was fairly new, um, I remember mentioning numerous times the Pixel 7 was 7 Pro was the fastest, smoothest, most just operating system, just smooth like butter. It's the fastest, most smoothest phone I've ever used in my life. Now, when you hear when you hear me make those comments, uh, you're probably wondering, well, it didn't score the highest on benchmark results. How can that be? Well, they tweak their operating system. You don't have to have the absolute fastest performing processor to get your phone to perform super fast and buttery smooth. That's where Google developers step in and tweaking the operating system, tweaking the uh, RAM management, tweaking, you know, there's all sorts of stuff, kernel, um, all sorts of stuff, thresholds inside the, the, the CPU and all sorts of stuff. It was the fastest. It reminded me of using a OnePlus phone back in the day. If y'all remember uh, OnePlus phones, I would say like right after the OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 8T is when I uh, and a lot of people left OnePlus just because that's when they kind of went left. But if you remember using like the 7, the 7 Pro, the 7T, the 8 and the 8T, those were so fast and so smooth. That's what the Pixel 7 felt like. And I guarantee you this Pixel 8 Pro should be the same, if not better, if that's possible. Now, let's see what last year's... Um, scored 17, 16, single core, 14, 42, multi-core. It's quite an improvement over the 7 Pro. Okay, here's last year's. So last year they got 14, 40 on single core. And this year they got 1760 on single core. So I'd say what a probably a 10% jump. And then you got last year it scored at 3793 in multi score. And then this year a 4442. So the multi core score has a higher percentage jump in performance than the single core. Um, so it's a good improvement, steady improvement. Look with this tensor chip, you're not going to blow the previous generation away. Like some of these other processors do, but you're building upon this new pixel eight pro is going to have more AI, more machine learning inside it. It's going to need a little more powerful processor. And that's exactly what this is doing. So these to put everything in a nutshell, this looks on par with what I would expect to see, uh, improvement from their next gen processor again you're not going to see the ginormous performance jump until the pixel 10 that one's going to blow the roof off because they are moving to tsmc on the pixel 10 which seems like a long ways away but honestly it's not it's just two years away um now the best snapdragon performing processors the 8 gen 2 uh inside a device let's see galaxy z fold 5 which scored a 2000 single core performance and 5500 multi core performance. So, overall, the Snapdragon processor does perform better. But again, remember, it's not about the high score with these Pixel phones. These Pixel phones are about machine learning, they're about AI, uh, it's about doing what you do on a daily basis better. Right, they're not out to win a drag race, they're not out to win a Formula One race, they're out to make your smartphone usage um, as best as it can be. So, don't let a lot of these things fool you. Just remember what, what, um, what these phones are for. Google's out to make the best phone, smartphone, period, and I believe they do. Samsung makes a Samsung and Google right up there with absolutely hands down the two best flagships. And iPhone's just a hot pile of shit right now with their devices overheating. So, uh, looks like this year is going to be all Samsung and Pixel when it comes to the best smartphones of the year because iPhone's going down in a uh, blaze of glory, literally. So, thank you for joining me. 
Um, I don't think I have much more at the moment. Don't want to make this too long and ramble on. I got everything out that I needed. Um, but again, I promise you, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you're going to want to. Uh, we got we got some stuff up our sleeve here. And uh, we got Pixel 8 Pro reviews, case reviews. We're going to order tons of cases. We're going to order cool accessories, like I told you, with that Google sticker, with the camera bar sticker, uh, screen protectors. You can, you name it, we got it. So um, I'll get the Pixel 8 Pro review out ASAP, and uh, we will have a fun time doing it. So thank you for joining me. And uh, I will see you all as soon as uh, the next latest in... Breaking news is out. Peace.